Uh, we're excited to announce our partnership with Tease today. I got to make sure it's like Jenga back here that I take one that doesn't topple the rest. But uh, doctor, great to have you on. We appreciate the time and we figured we'd kick off the partnership by actually getting information from you straight from the source, from our guys to be able to ask you how you came up with the product and your experience uh, with Tiza over the years. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me. It's, uh, it's exciting. I'm glad uh, we're having this partnership because it's exciting. I mean, you, you obviously know, that, like you mentioned, that uh, we got to stop uh, sugarcoating what's being used in athletics, both from the evolving athlete to professional athletes. We know um, there is something to be said about oral stimulation and, and having something to satisfy your mouth. And so the product is, is such a great fit um, for a lot of different um, athletes, but just, you know, even the outdoorsmen or just people trying to stay alert with a healthier option. And so, you know, what's funny is that this product is actually an energy product. You know, it was designed for energy. I, I you know, I got to admit that I did try to dip. I, I tried. <laughs> I tried and failed. Um, I'm glad I failed, but I did try when I was in high school. Um, admittingly, and it was just not something I was able to do, just couldn't, couldn't stomach it. And, um, but, you know, as I, as I got along into, uh, you know, through college and started, uh, actually practicing medicine, I realized that it was not as much the caffeine that could create an opportunity for energy and focus is just really just having something in your mouth, mouth. And so that's why, you know, people snack, people drink sodas, people smoke, people chew tobacco, um, when your mouth is satisfied, it gives you a natural, innate uh, focus ability. And so I was just driving, chewing on sunflower seeds. I tried pretty much everything to stay awake. But the sunflower seeds was the most successful thing for me. And that was just moving sunflower seeds throughout my mouth. But after a couple hours of uh, really chafing your tongue and the inside of your mouth, you just realize there has to be something better. And so, you know, really just took the idea of uh, the pouch or a, a snooze pouch or, you know, the school bandit idea and just said, let me start putting some healthy ingredients in these pouches and see what can happen. And, and you know, 13 flavors later and um, things are going great. And I got I got some. He's got them. Opening yeah. them up. It's, it's, it's like, what, what would you, how do you describe, I, I usually say it's almost like a little tea bag. It's, yeah. it's very small. Uh, I throw it in. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, what are you supposed to, are you sp Oh, go ahead. Are you supposed to chew it or just let it just si simmer in there? Nope, just simmer. It's uh, so it's the, the the good thing about it is you don't have to spit, you know, and that's kind of our motto is why spit when you can swallow, is uh, you know, it takes a lot of the 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 unhealthy habits of you know where some of these people that chew tobacco actually swallow the tobacco spit instead of spitting it out, um, because you know it is unsightly, it's uh, unhygienic, it's it's just really not a a nice act uh, of spitting into cups you know people in college i'm sure everybody that had roommates that uh, chewed tobacco had accidentally drank one of your friends uh spit cups which is just oh. absolutely insane i did it and uh, that was the last time i lived with those guys um but uh yeah so you swallow it it is just tea cut herbs and uh you know we even have dentists that promote it because it doesn't cause indenting of the the, gun, the teeth line um doesn't cause you know any issues with discoloring uh the teeth and uh, you can actually enjoy the flavor. So we have just a bunch of herbs and uh, a few uh, B vitamins, and um, it makes it really convenient. So you can get on a plane, you can be in church, you can be at work, and, uh, and, and no one really knows what you're doing, but it just gives you a nice natural focus. Yeah, I wanted to ask that question. So you, you experimented and had friends try this out first, and you said you did it while they were driving, fishing, snowboarding, golfing, and at work and got rave reviews like what were the reviews they said and what was the excitement from it all like were the yeah give, give us a little inkling about what well, they said the, the best thing is is that i've made a lot of products and i always you know I'm, I'm out there always telling my friends hey try this try that um the best thing about my friends trying this was like oh damn this is really good and they just kept wanting more and that was when you know because my friends don't sugarcoat anything if they don't if they don't like it they're going to tell me ah or they just won't ask for it again. But yeah, these guys were raving over it. And this was just one fl flavor. I started with peppermint. 
And the peppermint with a little bit of habanero um, just gave just enough of the burn and the flavor that these guys were like, wow. I mean, it, they were going through a few of them a day. And, um, and once they started saying that they liked it like I did, that's when I went with, uh, you know, mass producing the first flavor peppermint. But it wasn't about for another year that we started coming out with other flavors. But that, that was really it. These guys were like, they couldn't get enough of it. And that's when I knew that, that you know, that they were seeing the same thing I did. How many flavors do you guys have? We have 13 right now. Now, let me, let me ask you this. Is it all right? How many times can you use it the whole day? Is it okay to use, you know, because guys, when they dip, they sometimes use a whole pack in a day. Like, can you use four, five, six in a day? Is that okay? Yeah. So, you know, when you look at how much caffeine is in a, is in an energy drink, you know, there's somewhere up to 300 milligrams of caffeine now in some energy drinks. Uh, Starbucks coffee, 180 milligrams of caffeine in it. Our pouches have about 60 milligrams of caffeine and our double strength ones or our banging series. We have two of those have about 120 milligrams of caffeine, but each pouch, I, when I, when I get on an airplane and if it's a four hour flight, I still have the same pouch in. Uh, when I land four hours later. Um, so yeah, you can use multiple pouches in a day, you know, from a medical perspective, um, you know, I like to tell people you should stay under, you know, four to 500 milligrams of caffeine in a day. That's as much as you should need. So I don't really condone people going through, you know, a couple tins a day. Um, but you know, you, 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 with the amount of caffeine that's being consumed by Americans right now, I think, you know, you can see, feel safe to go through four or five uh, pouches in a day without a problem. And it doesn't cause jitteriness. Um, you know, a lot of the energy you're getting from just having something in your mouth, just a simple oral satisfaction. And so that's kind of the neat, free, low caffeine approach to energy, which makes it, a, I think, a, a much better and healthier alternative to some of the highly sugar and highly caffeinated uh, energy drinks. How do you talk athletes, especially into using something like this and, and getting off of tobacco dip? Because... I, I start there because then it trickles down, right? I mean, I, I know you didn't dip. I don't dip. AJ doesn't. But I've been around it my whole life with other athletes sure. that are addicted. So if you start there, then they're going to set the example for the next generation. MLB has been stricter about it. But, I mean, we've had plenty of guys that we've interviewed where we're like, he's got a big fat dip in his mouth right yeah, now. Yeah, of got, course. He's got a hog, as fat <laughs> call it, in his mouth. So, so how do you do that, like messaging-wise? Obviously, we can – we can help the narrative there, but what's been the strategy? Well, it, what we have found is that almost everybody that we talk to that does chew tobacco um, or drinks a lot of energy drinks, they know that they could, they would change if there was some alternative they actually had faith in. As far as the athletes go, most of them have tried every alternative. These guys don't want to chew tobacco. They probably are getting lots of pressure from their kids and friends and family they don't want to chew tobacco. And so what we found is that even like cowboys and, and some of these athletes that are like, Hey, I've tried them all. There's nothing. I've, I've tried it. They try our product and they're like, Ooh, this isn't bad. And, and, you know, so even if they cut down 50% of their tobacco use, um, that's still a win. And so I don't think it's, it's, it's not a problem of convincing them uh, to that there's an, that there's an opportunity. It's just having them try when they failed so many times to find a solution that would replace it. And we've had such a high success. I mean, like I said, we have 30 year old cowboys that have dipped every day and, and our success stories are so great because these guys have actually like, Holy cow, this is finally something that I can actually tolerate. It gives me a good replacement. I don't have to spit. I get energy. Uh, and the flavor is so long lasting that it, it, it's really not hard other than convincing someone to put one in their mouth. I just want to, before we let you jump, ask our guys, like AJ, you never were even approached, like as a, as a kid, when you were playing teammates, any of that, no one was ever like, hey, like you were never tempted and also you never saw, I mean, obviously you saw teammates doing it, but I would figure you'd be someone like, if they were like, oh, do you dip? And be like, nah, it's stupid. No, I don't like the smell of it. I've never had a dip, never had a cigarette, never had anything. So don't like the smell of it, don't like the taste of it. Is that funny, Todd? Um, don't like, just don't like any of that stuff. Never have. My mom smoked when I was a kid and uh, just never liked the smell, the taste. And I am all for it. Anything, because I have friends that have major dipping problems and I'm all for them being able to get off of it because it's it's awful for you. And anything that can help you keep your focus and be healthy, let's do it, Doc. Yeah. Yeah. And, the, and that brings up a great point is that our whole 
our whole campaign is to make dipping not the the enemy. It's not bad to dip. The whole idea of having something in your mouth to to satisfy oral cravings is 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 important. And so that is our our whole motto is we're redefining what it means to dip. It's not dipping is good. There's nothing wrong than putting something in your mouth. Um, but when you can put something healthier and get the same satisfaction, that that is really the the um, is the goal of ours. And so just like you're saying, I mean, those people that never dip, never wanted to be around dip, don't like how it smells, don't like it tastes. They pop one of these in, but then they realize why people do dip. And, and you know, all they want is something in their mouth. And, and so it's a pretty simple solution. But yet I think the longevity, the flavor profile and having a little bit of spice creates this opportunity for these guys to actually feel like they have a real replacement. You know, they actually get a little bit of the burn and um, and then the flavor just keeps on rolling. And and uh, so I, I think that, you know, we have a, almost a almost an 80 percent, 76 percent repurchase rate. So you can see when people try it, um, they, they they buy it. And so that is where we we see this opportunity, especially with the evolving athletes. All these kids, five hundred and seventy five thousand kids approximately try uh, oral tobacco every year. And, uh, in, in, you know, this isn't a gateway, you know, to kids like trying our product and saying, Oh, now I'm going to move on to tobacco. This is a solution for them because they, they satisfy everything without, without having something nasty that doesn't taste good. They're never even compelled to introduce themselves to this because they already found something that works and that's socially acceptable. I love it. Doc, thank you so much. Appreciate the time. And uh, yeah, we're excited to have the partnership running and and spread the word and hopefully get some more people, especially in the baseball world, off of tobacco dip. Yeah. And just remember, this is an energy product. You know, we kind of got thrown into the tobacco alternative because we are such a great tobacco alternative. But don't think that, you know, you had to previously chew tobacco to, to enjoy this product. You know, we have the the um the 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 athletic market or you know just even gym rats are now starting to understand that you know pop one of these before they go to the gym so it is really a nice energy solution too so don't don't feel like you had to had to been hooked on tobacco to give this product a try absolutely doc thank you so much we appreciate the time and uh we'll keep in touch on this all right thank you guys Thank you. Visit TizaEnergy.com. Hit the uh, discount code button and type in FOUL for 20% off your first order.